Yo, what's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Duck back with another one. Listen, man, UbuntuApparel.com. Y'all have been running it up. Go to the website, grab you a sweater, whatever it is you get, man. And um, I definitely appreciate it, man. Also, we are doing promo. So if you want to promote your business or anything you got going on on this channel, on these videos, just go to PapaDuckPromo at gmail.com and we're going to get it on. Now, what I want y'all to take from this video is this, man. You have to create your own reality because the reality that they've given us, this is the reason why we're going to continue to be in the situation we're in because they've given us this reality. Let me give you a perfect example, right? They taught us that, hmm, you can't trust nobody. Consistently, they tell us that. And what we do, program, process, we can't trust nobody. But this is the reality that they're giving us. Let's change it. Let's say if I got five homeboys and they all got children, those children should have five daddies. Respectfully, not saying I'm we're going to overstep the primary father's uh, duties and this, and, but we coming together collectively like we supposed to in a tribe. We don't live tribal. We don't experience things the same. But yet we're held accountable to arrive to the same destination when we don't experience the same shit because we don't live tribal. But let's change the law. Who law? Our law. Our reality. They tell us don't trust nobody. I say, listen, we all we got. Okay? you. I got five homeboys. Y'all got kids. Guess what? Those kids got five daddies. And it should be the same way with your homegirl. If it's five of y'all, don't children should have five mothers. Because guess what? By our law. Think about it now. Just think about we changed the whole reality. God gave us common sense for a reason. We don't need nothing they say. We need to build this bond amongst each other. Because what's this going to do? This is going to this is going to give our children a better chance, a better guidance system. This is going to this is going to promote loyalty. We all we got, and this is our law. Fuck what everybody else doing. Just think about that, bro. And this is how you control millions of people. You tell them what to think. And the people start thinking it. In ways that they don't even know they're thinking it. I keep trying to tell y'all. It's nothing going to change. But if we create our own reality, man. Listen, we could change our own lives. If I go to the store by law. I have to say, hey, man. Is it something you need? Is it something you need? Respectfully, not. Nah. You ain't got to go say, oh, I need something that costs $500. No. You need something, you need something, because guess what's going to happen? When they go to the store, they're going to ask you the same thing. And this is how we exchange loyalty. This is how we can help each other. Same thing with our kids, bro. If it's something you got to do, by law, one of us has to step in. But guess what's going to happen? What about when you got something to do? By law, somebody got to step in. You see how this works? This is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. You have to change. And if what I'm saying is bullshit, then why other countries live like this? Why other countries, right, can come from their country, come over here, and they display this togetherness? I told y'all the difference between collectivism and individualism. Go Google right now. What's the most individualistic country in the world? And it's the United States. I risk my case. So before you downplay this, just think. Bro, what if me and my siblings, right, by law, we have to work together? Because this is what other countries do. Y'all, like I'm saying something that it, you don't know. Nothing. Other countries come here, their children become employees. They don't, why? Hire somebody outside our family? It don't make sense, bro. But we're the only ones that can be five of us in the house, mama and daddy, three kids. We're all going to leave the house every day and go work for five different bosses. We got five different agendas, five different goals when we all can work together, bro. Come on, bro. That shit is common sense, bro. This is something God gave us. And it's free. But you got people that fight every fucking day to make sure you don't use it. Think about what I'm saying, bro. By law, if you want to be a part of this family, by law, you're going to bring your ass to this family reunion. Because it ain't about you. 
It's about the family. It's about the kids. That's why a lot of the kids be running around having sex with each other. Don't even know they family. By law. Whose law? Our fucking law. Our law. If you want to share this last name? By law. These are the things you have to do. And we respect from the top down to the bottom. From the elders on down. As we get older and as we move up the ladder, we got different responsibilities. By law, we should have one big plot of land. And the only reason people are going to renege for what I'm saying is because of the programming you have. You have programming that says family can't be trusted. No, I ain't going to do that. Why you think it's like that? Why the fuck would they teach you to overthrow them? Why would they give you all the, the, the things to overthrow them? And when you think about it, now you're going to realize just the, the, the wars that we fight on the daily. Because when you think about what you're going up against, now you see why they got TVs and radio stations and record companies and all forms of influence. Just to go against what I'm saying. This is how you control millions of people. You teach them what to think, not how to think. There's already templates put in place for when family fuck over family. Or when this happened and that happened. Where did this come from? It comes from a programming. This is why I say people aren't stupid people. Dumb people. They just programmed people. Let me reprogram you. If you're going to be in this family by law, why won't we have one big plot of land by law build our houses on this land? By law, all the women, we create a weekly schedule for the food we're going to eat. By law, the ones who cook can cook. The ones who are going to eat going gonna, gonna, gonna to cook this. And we got one spot on this land. We can build a cafeteria where we all go eat. We live in the tribal. This is our family. We all go eat. We got a, we got a, we got a, 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 a. A plot of land with houses already here that we can pass down to our children so we don't just throw them out to the wolves when they born. Like most of us, all of us starting from the, from the beginning because our moms and dads ain't got shit to give us. But now we got, a, we got a whole compound. Now the kids can come. They kids can come. They got somewhere to start. And by law, we create rules. And if you break these rules... Then we can we can vote. This is the same shit the Rockefellers do. You can't just because you're a Rockefeller, you can't just come get this money. No, you have to stand before a board. Hey man, this is what I need. This is what I'm trying to do. Here come the ROIs. Woo -woo -woo. And if they agree, here you go, just like a bank. So by law, we got one spot where we eat. We got a weekly schedule of what we're gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? We know how much all these, the, how much it costs to run this whole compound. We know how much it costs. And we can build them based off how we should build a house. Remember, we're changing the reality. We don't need no motherfucking five-bedroom house. For what? People, it's two, three people staying in a five-bedroom house with three and a half baths. You just paying for extra real estate for nothing. No, we're going we're gonna to build what we need. We know how much everything out here on the monthly cost. What this going to do? This is going to build character for your family. This is going to build uh, a, a, a real relationship with your family, loyalty with your family, structure with your family. And once you build this, now you're going to see why back in the days it was very important for the ones at the top or the mother and father to kind of dictate who you're going to marry, who you're going to bring in this family. Because what you do is going to dictate the colony or the family. Now you see why marriage was created. You see what I'm saying? Marriage ain't got nothing to do with no love. Marriage had all to do with how we're going to mesh with another family that has equal or greater value. That way we could come together and be as powerful than before. This is how you protect the heirs. This is how you protect the family. You can't just bring on anybody in this family, bro. Okay? I just want y'all to understand that. Please share this video. Please um uh 
you know, put it out there, man. Because I'm telling y'all, we have to redefine our reality and we need to start with our family. So I'm going to say this and I'm going to let y'all go. If you don't have a family, I'm blessed to have a family reunion every freaking year. I couldn't have a better family. I love my whole family. I love us. And I'm telling you, if you if you ain't at least having family reunions, someone, the most influential person in your family need to speak to everybody else. The ones who everybody going to listen to. Hey, this is what we're doing. And I, like I said, I don't give a damn if four people show up. Next year, 20 people. Next year, 40 people. But by the time you may, and I, and I hope you reach in, in, in up in age, by the time you 60, 70 years old, you can look back and say, damn, we started this family reunion, man, number three people came. Now you an elder of the family. And, we, and this is what we do. The elders get up and they talk and they, they tell their kids to get up and stand. Everybody see their kids. Everybody see their kids' kids. So we know who the mom is, who the dad is, where, where they sit at on the tree. And we know all the information because we leave our, G, our emails. We leave our phone numbers every year. This is structure, bro. Because if you let the world tell you how this should go, they're doing it with agendas. They want you to break up. They want you to be warm with your family. They want you to be on your own. Remember I told you America is the most individualistic country in the world, Craig. Go study the difference between collectivism and individualism. It says it by itself. Collectivism means we move collectively as a collective. Individualism means I move on my own. And as you know, there's power in numbers. And if there's no numbers, there's no power. So what I want y'all to take from this video is this. And please share this video. And you can use my videos. I don't care. Use them. Upload them. I just want to get the word out. Because even on Facebook, they shadow banning me. You know what I'm saying? Like I be trying to tell y'all. They don't want to put this stuff out. But listen. Y'all can help me do this. And also, I'm going to put my mailing list up. I got a mailing list coming where we'll never lose contact. Excuse me. Because, like I say, man, they they, they, they do what they want to do with these pro, with these platforms because they control them. But this is what I want you to take from this video. You can create your own reality, man. Please put your comments on the bottom of here, man. And um, just think about what I'm saying, bro. It's just common sense, dog. You know what I'm saying? We've been taught to hate each other, to self-destruct. We've been taught... To not love and you know like each other, and this is what leaves us by ourselves. You know, when you go to the courtroom, you should never go in a courtroom by yourself. You should go with your with your family as a as as a whole, as a collective. But these are the things in the in the in the, in the things they pull on us because we don't know no better. Remember, bro, they wrote the Constitution not to better black people's or better people in general. This shit was pretty much made. To the point where it's dead people that's dead that's still running our lives today, bro. Because of what they believe in. Listen, man, you got to change the narrative of that. You feel what I'm saying? Change the narrative and change your own reality. And like I'm trying to explain to y'all, bro, this is how you do it. Do not let the world tell you that bullshit they've been telling us. Because as you see, it don't work, bro. It only works for the rich. All the shit, they, if all the shit work, what they trying to put on us, then why the rich ain't doing it? Why they not doing it, okay? Come on, man. Use your brain. But anyway, it's your boy, Papa Duck. I love y'all. Like I tell y'all the time, in order for you to be found, God damn it, you must first be lost, okay? If you got any value from this video, please share. Please put it up. And, and like I say, go ahead and start your family reunion, man. It ain't never too late, dog. Ever. And you're going to look back and you're going to say, damn, Duck, you was right. You know what I'm saying? Because all these kids coming in the world, bro. Listen, man. Somebody got to be the more uh, responsible person or group of people to guide these kids. Because none of that, your, your cousins going to be having babies with your cousins, bro. And you don't want that, dog. You don't want that. Anyway, man. It's your boy, Papa Doug. I'll holler at y'all on the next one, man. Peace.